very good morning to you. Welcome back. Welcome back to Entrepreneurship Tuesday. It's all about good music and getting informed while at it. So head on to our Facebook uh, Facebook page at Y254 channel and we are asking which business do you think is just a waste of time and will make losses or zero profits anyway. So I need to hear what you have to say. I just need to hear your experiences. I just need to hear your thoughts. At Michelle Shira is where you can find me across all my social media platform at Y254 channel is where you can find us so this time this particular conversation i'm going to have with a very young beautiful gorgeous young lady and she's already a chef at a very young age i'm not sure if she's allowing she will allow me to mention her age but it's okay so she goes by the name uh naima ashley and uh she's a chef hi naima hi michelle how are you doing i'm well <laughs> introduce yourself Hi people, my name is Ashley Neymar. I'm a chef, I'm a student chef at Amboseli Institute in Thika. Yeah, Hi. so basically I'm a chef. Alright, so all gorgeousness, all beauty, and she is a business owner. <laughs> Tell us about uh, where did the love of uh, first? Are you, are you in a culinary school? Let's start there. Yes. Okay, I'm which year? Um, I'm in my second quarter. Okay. Yeah. I'm at Amboseli School in Thika. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So at what point did you decide, like, now I'm just going to go out there and start my own business? I can tell. It's, it's, it's been a passion I've mm -hmm. had for a long time. Mm -hmm. There's a point in life when I had to go back to my village. Like, I went to stay with my grandma, and this is where things got really interesting because she'd wake me up, like, wake up, young girls are waking up, you mm -hmm. wake up, you clean the house, mm -hmm. make breakfast. As a woman, you need to cook, you need to be good in the kitchen. So my grandma would train me, like, if it's lunch, she'd call me, like, you know, the, what do we call it? Is on my way to. Mm -hmm. Then she sits me there, she's like, watch how I'm going to cook. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I grew in interest a lot. By the time I was in class six, I could make you like really good pilau. Okay. And then for a while, I got, I got focused on school. Mm -hmm. Then when I finished my high school back in 2019, mm -hmm. I was just bored in the house, there's nothing to do. I decided to cook like I decided to be serious about it. Mm -hmm. So I took a book, wrote down a few things I needed to start with. Yeah, that's just how I began. Mm -hmm. I had passion. I really wanted to do fashion. But when I told my dad I want to go to a fashion school, he said, no, you have to go cook first. Okay. Yeah. So uh, you've been to school for two years and then now you've started your own business, right? I am still in school. Still in school. Okay. Yeah. See, corrected. <laughs> <laughs> so people can find you online. Where can they people? Where can people find you online? Let's start there. On Instagram mm -hmm. at Mwendo mm -hmm. I'm only on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So what? So from uh, being in school, and I'm so sure it's not like a mandatory for you to just put yourself out there. I've seen I've also worked for other numerous companies, uh, restaurants that is, and I've seen also like uh, in a situation where by you had to uh, reinvent a whole menu that is I saw that on your bio so how's that experience for you um, it wasn't it, it is not it's not a light thing to meet a client's perspective of food that they really want and want to enjoy you really have to be creative so I say to be a chef is just the same thing as being an artist because as a chef you create a masterpiece and this masterpiece is not something done in a day mm -hmm. it's done after years and years and years of experiment experimentation mm -hmm. through different dynamics mm -hmm. of interactions mm -hmm. so when it comes to creating a menu you first have to decide where your heart lies okay i love mexican cuisines so much so when I went to school, what's your, what's your, what's your uh, one of your favorite Mexican cuisine? I love tacos. Mm -hmm. So when I went to school, my teacher told us, practical Wednesday, we're having a meal. You're preparing a menu for yourself. Mm -hmm. So when you're given a question, you're told, prepare a four packs meal for people. In this meal, you have to have a starter, mm -hmm. a main meal, a dessert, 
and a tea item. Okay. And uh, when choosing, each has to be of its own flavor, mm -hmm. but they all have to come together, you get. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're having a sweet starter, then your dessert should be sour. All right. If you're having a hot starter, mm -hmm. then your dessert should be cold. I'm so sure guys back at home will get to see this because we'll get uh, visuals, uh, pictures and uh, samples of what she's talking about. And uh, I'll have to find out, right? So r during this time of uh, COVID-19, the restaurants are not, uh, are not open. And uh, so how, how do you get to, to offer your services to people that actually love your food? Basically, I'm a caller. Mm -hmm. I freelancing. Yes, okay. I'm freelancing. Mm -hmm. You can or you just place a call and your order depends. I can cook it from my house, mm -hmm. or I can cook it at your house, depending. Mm -hmm. I charge 450 a plate, mm -hmm. and if it's more than pe if it's more than 10 people, I charge a thousand a plate since it's going to be. What do we call it? That price is for uh, every kind of meal of just. Uh, the price is it for any kind of meal like I am going to ask for as a client uh, or okay I've, I've never got clients who'd want let's say a Mexican meal oh, right. all clients I get basically want pilau chapati you know the ordinary Kenyan food yeah all right yeah. so maybe we could go out uh, through uh, some of your cuisines uh, made by Ashley so what's the name of your uh, I'm so sure that there's a name for the company or something Urban Gourmet Repeat that again. Avan Gomez. Okay, you, that's the name of uh, yeah. Go by by social media? Yeah. Okay. So maybe you can tell us this more about breakfast. This is just at home. I was making breakfast okay. on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, these are rice balls. Mm -hmm. um, these are meat pies. Mm -hmm. These are omelette bread. And these are cheesy, cheesy, cheesy bakes. Uh -huh. Okay, So how rice long does it balls. take to rice bowl? How, do, how long does it take to make that? Eight minutes. Okay, okay. You just make rice and then you make them into balls, beat eggs, put them in eggs, make some crumbs, dip in the crumbs, in the pan, that's it. Girl, you know your work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's look at this. Uh, this yummy. is butternut squash with mm -hmm. bread. Mm -hmm. This is butternut, malenge. Ah. Yes, wow. you just boil it, okay. blend it, add an onion, mm -hmm. salt, that's it. I would love to try that. I would really love to try that. In fact, we have a show, like a live show of just me <laughs> cooking. <laughs> Next round, we'll definitely do that. <laughs> so then we have... Um, oh, mm. this is chicken in butternut. Oh. I love I love nuts. I love the Kenyan nuts. Okay, it looks, it looks really nice. Yeah. All right. So um, still, when I like to have this for a plate, still goes for 450 Yeah. Very affordable. Very affordable. Okay, so... Uh, we could look at other pictures, okay. Then what do we call this looking uh, yummy meal? Here? These are meatballs with and spaghetti. spaghetti. Yes. Oh, why? Right. So simple. This is a kid's menu. Mothers, mm. you don't, you, your kids don't have to eat rice all the time. Okay. You can make some nice spaghetti for them and meatballs. Meatballs are like 10 minutes. Oh, right. yeah. So especially during this time where people are just uh, are relaxing back at home yeah. and you, you can just uh, venture into, you know, yeah. different, exploring different kind of meals. So maybe you can give us your social media handles. And oh, I love pie. Mm. Is that, no, can, these are cinnamon pancakes. Pan oh, sorry. I love those. <laughs> They're pancakes. They're I love pancakes. Nice. Too, Oh yeah. This is cinnamon pancakes I'm with vanilla. I'm already feeling hungry. Ah! I'm already feeling hungry, Aisha. <laughs> Here. Alright, so where can guys find you on social media again? At Mwendo and mm -hmm. I had my account was hacked. Awesome. I, I should have talked to that guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but don't worry, we have the contract, so we'll just call sure. Samuel and we'll hook you up. So probably you could give your current social me social account so that way people can reach out to you. Sure. My account on Instagram is at Mwendo and Naima. Yeah, I only have Instagram and WhatsApp. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's understandable. We're all going online. It's all about online right now. Businesses are just going online. So, yeah. guys, back at home, make sure you reach out to Neymar, Ashley, and uh, get all this cuisine at another very much affordable prices, uh, considering how yummy they are. And I'm already hungry already. So, uh, we'll be ending this uh, right now with Aisha. Uh, uh, 
I'm so, I feel like so short, right? Like Naima, Pardon me, Naima, I'm Naima, Ashley Naima. Naima. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I don't know what, 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 don't know what happened there. Sorry, Naima. Anyway, it was very, uh, very short interview. Next time we'll have a longer conversation pertaining your cousins and people can reach out to you. Make sure you do so. So right now we'll be heading to your so the social media uh, conversation where we ask you a question and we'd like to find out more about your feedback and what you had to say. So we'll be right back with that.